Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. In the last episode, we finally took down the Dweller and got his bounty after we delivered his head to our Warden uh, back, back at our stronghold. And speaking about our stronghold, it looks it looks like our ownership of Kaid Nua was n not that a simple matter after all. Because you see, there is this one noble family, I think they were called uh, Catfin, Catpin family or something along those lines, but whatever the case, this noble fa family basically dis ba basically disagreed with, with our ownership of Kaid Nua and, and demanded the stronghold for themselves. So we got this one messenger from Defiance Bay telling us to go telling us to go back back to the city and solve this matter. And so that's exactly what we did. We went to the Ducal Palace in Defiance Bay, met this Chancellor uh, guy who, who, who I guess is basically a lawyer who, who is specialized in cases like this. And then of course we met, we met, met Lord Catpin himself who, who, who demanded the stronghold for himself. And so, and so, and so we heard, and so, and so we heard the ru 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 ruling that, that, that how we, that how we are going to solve this and who actually owns the stronghold. So, so according to the according to the court's ruling, uh, legally speak, legally speaking, the, strong, the stronghold does indeed, or at least did indeed, uh, belong belong to the uh, Catfin fam family because they had the same liege with the former owners of the Kite Noir stronghold or something along along those lines. However, however, because 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 basically we did all all the work in reclaiming the stronghold, even went as far as to, as as to do some reconstruction work. Uh, and, 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 st and stuff and stuff like that. We, meanwhile, the Catherine family didn't even didn't even bother to do as much as as much as to lift a finger to to, to try to reclaim the place. Uh, for I think the stronghold was been abandoned for over hundred and hundred or hundred and fifty years or so, but over a hundred years any, anyway. And uh, and during all that time, uh, the the Catherine family did not even try to reclaim the damn place. But not but but but. But now, but now that we came, but now that we came came in and, and reclaimed the stronghold for ourselves, now they are suddenly interested in it because of course they are. So anyway, legally, legally speaking, it, it, it should belong to them. But because we did all the work in reclaiming the place and even and even repair and even repairing at least some uh, parts of it, uh, Lord Catherine would have would have had to compensate all that work for us and and basically pay a hands, handsome sum of money money to us. But because Lord Catpin is, is, is such a spoil, is such a spo and spoiled noble schmuck, he, he, he refused to pay us, and I punched him in the face, breaking his nose and everything, almost making him cry. That, damn, that felt so fucking satisfying. So, and so, because Lord Catpin re re refused to pay us, the stronghold now officially and legally belongs to us. But that didn't please the noble lord at all, not one bit. And so he threatened us, threatened us, basically saying that, that that he will get the stronghold one way or another. I ac I actually hope I actually hope hope that he that he is foolish enough to actually come and try to take the stronghold from us by force with his small army or whatever. I really I really hope that happens because I'm because I I really want to kill that guy. So yeah, that's that's basically all that happened ha happened in the last episode. Oh, and because we are the official legal own legal owners of the stronghold now we also got this uh guild heaven steen scepter that is basically a soul bound legend uber legendary item and i and i gave this to a lot because well this is uh, for wizards priests and druids so i thought that you know what i'm just gonna give this to a lot and look at it look at that thing that looks so fucking cool and actually I, now that I think about it, I don't, I don't even, I don't even think that this had this ever happened in my first playthrough of the game. I don't, I don't, I don't ever remember having a court case like this over the ownership of Kaid Nua, and I certainly don't remember ever getting this scepter. So that's, so, so, so that's very cool. And now then, and what, and and last time what, and then what, and the last thing we tried to do in the last episode was to, uh, let's see, uh, we tried to get this one bounty. It was this: kill Sly Sirdal and take his head. And he should, and he should be somewhere, somewhere around here in Mar Markran's, Markran's fort, uh, fork. And 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 we actually did, and we actually did r run into a, into a group of thugs. And and I, and I, and, I, and I thought we found the guy, but apparently no, those thugs were n not the ones we were looking for. However, I don't think I don't I don't remember if I if I mentioned this in the last episode, but I actually did recognize that uh, God and um, deft godlike. 
uh, thug we killed in the la last ep last ep episode. Uh, I, I remember him in my, from my first playthrough, and what I did ba basically did with him in the first play playthrough was was that I had I had an option. I could have either one let him go, kill him, or 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 or, or jail him or jail him to to my dungeons in in Kainua. But we didn't. But we didn't get that option this this time. And I guess that the reason why we didn't get the option to jail him to our strong stronghold was because we haven't repaired the the dungeons, the jails in our dungeons of of Kaid Nua. So maybe that's why we didn't get the option. But I, but I don't I don't really care because I would have killed him anyway because because we are Pilitwalker. We don't show mercy to anyone. Yeah. Ah. So yeah, that was what we did last time. So now let's try to find this. What was his name again? I keep forgetting these names. Uh, uh, Sly Sergio. No, where would Just I? Just say the word. Where would I go if 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 I was an outlaw? Maybe he's somewhere in this house. At least at least I would go to hide there. So yeah, very interesting stuff. Uh, uh, stuff ha ha was happening in the last 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 episode. Lots of cool, cool stuff. I don't, I don't remember encountering or f witnessing or doing in my first playthrough of this game, and that's very awesome and cool. All right, so he wasn't in this house. Well, he must. Well, maybe he's around the rock here. I don't know. Or maybe he's around here. There's not really that many places where he can be in this area. And run a bit faster. Oh, don't pause. Run faster. Oh, and tanks. Oh, fuck. Is no, that's not him. Dylan gun, uh, primordial, and a couple of bears. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, go back to normal speed, and you go and knock this one down. And I guess Prolvia, you can go and focus on him, and you focus on the bear as well. Uh, you don't do anything just yet, and I think I'm gonna buff everyone here just in case. And Sagani, I think just mark this. Telekman here and send Itumark there as well. Hey. Oh, the it, it, Itumark is is almost dead already. Uh, use the damn knock knock this bear down. Oh well, <laughs> well those bears fall down very quickly. And I was and I was expecting a challenge here. I'm a bit disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Well, we got some wood and all right then bear hide and stuff. Just say the word. All right, let's go back to normal speed and tanks go first. All right, maybe he's somewhere around this Atra rock. Hmm. Ah, outlaw low. Oh, there he is. Sly Sirtle and an outlaw rogue and barbarian. All right, there he is. All right, I think hmm, that's an Orlan, or Orlan rogue, if I'm not, not not mistaken. Just like Winky. You go and focus on that barbarian. Hmm. Does everyone still have the the buff we got from Durant? I don't think so. No. Not sure how tough these people is. So I think I'm gonna buff the entire party again once we get get close. And I I want to take down that rogue very fast. So uh, Palagina and Prolvio take care of the rogue. Meanwhile, uh, uh, meanwhile Eder will tank the barbarian. And you, I think, hmm, maybe use your spell out somewhere over there. You mark this sly guy and send it to Mark there. Hey. Oh shit! There's there's a he he heck of a lot more people. All right, that changes, but that changes some things. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, use this instead. And you go and now oh, there's a lion, an outlaw, ranger, priest, and wizard. I want to take down that wizard as fast as I can. Actually, use. Mark this one after all, and send it to Mark. Right. And yeah, Prolga, you try and tank these guys. Actually, use this. And you are there. And buff the party, please. 
Uh, uh, is it just me, or is the or is the AOE effect of this thing a bit uh, smaller than last time? Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. Anyway, yeah, you use that, and uh, I want to take down that that wizard there. So use your missile attack. Itumark is going attacking there as he should, and you use your special arrow thingy on this guy. Ah! Uh, yep, he died. Good job, everyone. Mm, let's see. Everything should be fine, really. And Palatina, where are you? You are there. Well, he's about to die anyway, so attack this one. You uh, kill this outlaw, uh, barbar what was it? barbarian. And you just... Use your holy flames on that uh, sly circle, and you use your spells here. <laughs> All right, you are you are, you are you are in in a bit of a trouble there. Mm. I guess we should take down this ranger here as fast as we can. Ah, what should we do with you? I guess you could go somewhere around here, and then use this spell here. Damage the enemies and heal Prolvia while you add it. And use your magic missiles on this ranger again, because he's foc focusing on Durant's. And Itumark, attack this one, and then you use your special arrow on the ranger. Itumark, are you attacking? Hmm, maybe he's... I don't know what's happening with Itumark. Maybe he has a, some sort of a buff that paralyzes him to, 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 to his place. I don't know. Ah, uh, Palachina is not doing very well there. But we should be fine. Nothing to worry about. Use this again. Mm. Let's use this actually. Although now, uh, let's do it this and Durant's move a little bit. <laughs> Shit! They really want Palagina dead. Uh, knock someone down, if you will, like uh, this barbarian. <laughs> And uh, there's only this barbarian left. Just use this spell. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna rest after this anyway. And uh, use this on these two. Heal yourself. Go and uh, hit hit this barbarian with your stick. <laughs> Staff, even. Uh, oh, you are stuck. All right. Why are you stuck anyway? Well, I don't know. Oh, you are stuck taught. regardless. That's not very helpful. Well, that sly circle guy is quite tanky. But then again, we haven't really been focusing on him that that much anyway. I, I wanted to take down his henchman first. Palatina is a bit hurt. That's no good. You know, it it re it really it really kind of sucks that Sagan mm, doesn't really have many abilities to use. Only these two, basically. Let's let's uh let's summon this. We are gonna rest anyway. That's not good. That actually quite terrible. Uh, move a little bit. That beetle looks quite terrifying, really. There we go. You have all used your knockbacks, well, doesn't matter. And... Use this. No, 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 no. Use this, there we go. And you just magic missiles in, 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 into his face. 
Yeah. And now everyone just fo focus on focus on our bounty here. No. That's not very helpful. Uh, Rolvia, why did you go and, and attack a lot? Did, did I give that order? I'm quite sure I didn't. I don't know. But if I but if I did indeed give uh, give give, give Prolvia the order the order to go and hit Alot in the face, then sorry Alot, that was not on I didn't do that on purpose. The fight is ours. You better and Palatino attack. Come on, kill him already. Can't be that hard. He sure is tanky. Finally. He better have some good gear, god damn it. Hmm, well he had some very has some interest looking sword. Two handed. 14 to 20 damage. Actually, I'm just gonna let's just pick everything up first. I understand. And more cool cool loot. Nice. Loot, 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 loot. Just loot. say the word. Alright, uh No, uh should I rest here now? Hmm. Ah, uh, what the hell, let's uh, rest here for real quick. And there we go. Now, now, now everyone ha has, has rested and they got all their spells and all that shit. Now let's see. Uh, so this is 200 sword and you use 200 swords. Let's compare this. <coughs> Excuse me. 17 to 24 damage. This does 15 to 21, which is less damage. Alright. And, uh. Mm, 5 damage. 5 uh, damage reduction bypass. Plus 3 damage reduction burn. So wait. Plus 3 damage reduction. So this sword m makes us uh, take less damage. That's how I understand it anyway. But only burn damage, apparently. Uh, plus 5 accuracy against beasts, plus 25% damage against beast. So this, uh, uh huh, so we, so we're gonna deal lots of damage against beasts, alright. And 3 damage reduction bypass again. So, so all, all in all, 8 damage reduction bypass. And here we don't have it, so this sword could uh, ba uh, basically deal, deal more damage, e even if we do slightly less base damage. Hmm, but can I... Apparently I can... I can't, uh... Drake's spell already has enchanted slain beast. Not enough materials. Oh, we don't have enough materials, alright. I re I really should hire some mer merchants to my, uh... To my stronghold, so I can buy all these the crafting materials for these en enchantments and shit. This is quite fucking big enchantment right here, and no wonder it costs, what is that, 20 grand? Jesus Christ. But yeah, uh, let's give this sword a try. At least let's see what it looks like, if nothing else. Holy shit, look at that, folks. Now that is bad ass. That is some badass looking sword if I ever seen one. Now now both me and, and Prolvia have, have fiery swords, fuck yes. And, and what do we have here? Anything interesting here? Nothing new, I think. What was this? A mirrored image. I think I already have this. No, I th uh, nothing interesting here. Alright. Anything else? What about this armor? Mm, it's the exact same thing. Alright. Uh, Papa, anything else I have missed? Now what about this? Is this the same thing? Yeah, it's the exact same thing. All right. But I wonder what. Uh, I just want to see what what does this look like on Palagina? Well, uh, she looks cool. All right, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to this. 
What kind of armor she has anyway? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's overall better. Plus 50% 50 per, 50 armor damage reduction when under 25% health. Plus 2 damage reduction. And I can I enchant this some more? Requires level 8. Level 4. But I don't have the materials. But I wonder, what does it mean level 8? Does it mean the character level 8? I, I, assu I assume this means character level. Mm, none of these are... Well, well, I guess constitution is the most... Uh, is the most useful one for her. So basically gives her more health. And some damage reduction uh, to, to certain types of damage. Alright, nothing too interesting. Yeah, I think that was pretty much it. So, now let's go back... Let's go back to our... Forgot that I can't do it here. I have to go to the edge, edge of the map. Where can I leave? In here, I think. Yeah. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yeah, I know. So now we go back to Kate Nua. And bring and bring this outlaw's head to our warden and get our reward. Hmm. And I. And what what was what was the last what was the last thing last thing I, I I started to build? I think it was the laboratory for the Bright Hollow Tavern Inn, whatever it was called. I think that was that was the last thing I. Mm. Hmm? Looks a little healthier than before. Return to court. Another messenger from the Ducal Palace has arrived in Guide Nua. Chancellor Warren said 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 he would send another messenger if anything new regarding my dispute ownership of Guide Nua came up. Speak to the... Yeah. Hmm. Can Chancellor Varin seems to have sent another messenger from the Ducal Palace in Defiance Bay. The messenger is waiting in the Great Hall. Alright. So we have to go there. Brutish Warrior has... Watch this. Uh... Uh... Where? Uh... Now this is the slaver. Palace vis... Palace messenger. Christus Visitor. But what was the? I read. I I quick. I quickly read that it, that it was something about a barbarian or something like that. But hey, I guess I I'll, I'll guess we find out once we get to the main hall. So after this, we go to we go to Defiance Bay and most likely to the Truco Palace. And after that, I think we are going to the. Well, at good the, day, stranger. Actually, let's re return to head first. Sly Surtle is dead. Good work. They'll be celebrating in New Heomar soon enough. Here's the bounty. And we got uh, 2,250 copper. And we got factors of XP. Anything else? Nope. Not for now. Nobody got a level, but how much money do we have? Almost 20 grand. Nice. Alright, now let's go Let's go back to the main hall. And what, uh, what, what, was, I, what, was, I, what was I about to say again? Oh yeah. So, we, we go to the... We go to the main... <laughs> Looks a little healthier than before. Yeah, you have already said that, Runs. So yeah, so uh, so so we go back to the Tuko Palace in, Defi in Defiance Bay and and find out that what's going on this time. Maybe Lord Catpin is bitching some more um, some more about the ownership of the stronghold. I don't know. But whatever the case, we go there, deal uh, deal whatever business we have there, and then uh, and then we finally then we finally. Uh, then we are finally going to continue the main story of this game and go to the. Uh, temple, uh, ru temple ruins of Vodica, which I, which, which I think is, which I think is almost right next to the Tuko Palace. Anyway, I bear a message from the Tuko Palace. Yeah, yeah, but wait there for a moment. Wasn't there a visitor of some sort here? Not here, by the looks of it. Maybe he's outside, but I missed him. Well, whatever. What is it you want? What what message do you bear? Pardon the intrusion, my lady. Chancellor Varin urgently requests that you meet him at the Charit Barrel in ba Charit Barrel in Brackenbury. So we're not going to the Ducal Palace. Is it about Guide Nua again? Remind me who Chancellor Varin is. Why isn't the Chancellor meet meeting me at the palace? Yeah, that's a good question. Perhaps the Chancellor is meeting with you in an official in an of unofficial capacity. It happens from time to time. Is it about Kaid Nua again? I don't know. My apologies, my lady. I am merely a messenger. Hmm. 
Remind me who Chancellor Warren is. He's a legal arbiter for Earl Bademore, Lord of the Crasp. I believe you have made his acquaint acquaintance at the Ducal Palace. Yes, uh, yes we have, but I wanted to ask anyway. I'll meet with the Chancellor when I can. He bows and leaves. Meet Chancellor Warren at the Chart Barrel in Brackenbury. Okie dokie. Ah, he li li left the stronghold, alright. But wasn't there another messenger? Something about the mighty barbarian or whatever? I think I, I think I read something like that from uh, on on the top corner mm -hmm. here. Looks a little healthier than before. Oh, and here. Inform, uh, in Sol Shackle informed that New Hermar will be a safe stop on his journey. Sol Shackle leave takes his leave. Oh, we have already we already dealt with that. So wait, isn't there a wasn't there a new visitor somewhere here? I'm a bit confused here. Maybe I should have read the thing uh, mo more carefully before I actually clicked on it. Let's see one last time. Uh, what was the thing we are building now anyway? It was a laboratory, isn't it? Oh wait, it's completed. Alright, what are we building then? Or are we building anything? I guess we are not. Does it look like it? No. Alright, so what should we build next? Well, might as well. Let's build this, whatever. But I'm still a bit confused. Mm. Ah, there we go. Brutish warrior has arrived, seeking employment. He was nearly he was nearly set up by brigands on the road, but your patrols intervened. Oh, I have I have patrols. I didn't know about that. All right, so the ha, so British warrior has a right seeking employment, but why the hell is he? Hmm, why the hell is he somewhere outside of the damn place? Actually, maybe I should just send. Yeah. Maybe I should just send everyone to different. Actually, no. Let's not do that. I, I was just say the word. I, I was actually about to send uh, different party member uh, party members to, di to different locations of the keep so I can look for him faster. But I decided against it because it would because because it, 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 it because it would be a pain to gather them again. Maybe he's outside here. I mean, he it did say that. Brutish warrior has arrived, seeking employment. Hmm. So he should be somewhere around here. Or am I just being blind and I don't see him, see him? Or maybe we have to talk to our mm, to the stat to the statue in the great hall. All right. Did I miss him, miss him? Is he somewhere around here? No. I trust all is well, my lady. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. What is the state of the keep? People are starting to notice your hard work. I dare say we'll have more visitors shortly. I'm glad you decided to stay on, my lady. It's been difficult, watching this place tumble into decay time and time and again. To see it restored is... I can imagine the great crowds, the, pe the petitioners, music perhaps, in the evenings. Oh, I've gotten carried away, haven't I? Here's the report. British warrior has arrived, seeking employment. He was nearly set up and set upon by brigands on the road, but your patrols intervened. All right, but why the hell is he? And didn't I send Winky to a, to a mission a long time ago? I'm quite sure I did. I'm really confused now. And uh, do I have any assignments or anything that I can? Oh, I must build the barracks to recruit hirelings. Huh, maybe that's why I can see the barbarian uh, or the warrior anywhere here, because I haven't uh, I haven't built the barracks. That could be it. I'm just gonna assume that's the case and let's just let's just go. 
Let's just go to Defiant Defiance Bay. Ah, British Warrior leaves Stronghold. Alright. Shame. Maybe he was there after all, but I just didn't find him. Unless I'm unless I'm just freaking blind. Yeah. Alright, whatever. Alright, so what was the hmm, what, the channel barrel? I think it was this place. This is a tavern inn of, of sorts, so I think I guess I guess he's here somewhere. So let's see. What does he want from us? Heartless bitch. Hope you're not talking about me or I punch you in the face. Ah, Chancellor Warren, there he is. Lady Prolvia, what brings you to Pla Brackenbury? You sent a missive. Put down the ale, old man. You summoned me. No, I didn't. I received I received a missive from you. The Chancellor sets down his mark of ale and looks at you quiz quizzically. As far as I know, nothing has changed regarding your rightful position of Kaid Nua. You realize that the char Jarrod Barrel has gone quiet and turn to see the last of the pat patrons quickly disappearing through the front door. A moment later, a group of armed men and women stride into the tavern. Ah, oh, fuck, this was a setup. Oh dear, the Chancellor quickly ducks behind the table. Ah, that's the elven woman who I think was, was with Lord Catpin at, uh, during the ruling. The woman, leads, uh, le the woman leading the armed group lowers her cowl with one hand while keeping the other on a pistol tucked into her belt. You immediately recognize Catpin's Cat captain. Yeah, I thought so. Now that the sheep have been herded, herded from their pen, you and I, you and I can conduct our business, unfortunate as it may be. I remember you—you you, you were with Lord Catherine at the palace. Hmm. I remember you. Hmm. Dwarf. And I, you. She grins. I'll admit, with your reputation, I expected someone a little taller. Are you being racist, you bitch? I might, I might be short, but short, but I can, but I can still kick your ass. Well, so what's your words? What do you want? Oh, I, oh, I think you know. Lord Catpin has ordered your death. Of course he has. She forces a frown. A shame, really. I admire your exploits, even if only half of them are true. Sadly, I have my orders. Catpin will lose. You should. Catpin will lose. You should work for me. Hmm. That could also be interesting. Hmm. Let's see, can I... Or should I just at attack her? Catpin will lose. You should work for me. The man is wine. I'll bet noble. Wealthy swine. At least at least we agree on something. Her lip curls in faint disgust. Were I, were I to do it again, I doubt I would have... I would have take taken it. I doubt I would have... I would have, have taken, taken in with him. English is so hard sometimes. But what's done is done, and Lord Catherine is, a rutl uh, is as ruthless as he's arrogant. He'll go to he'll go to great lengths lengths to aver to avenge a betrayal. What what could you offer to make me consider such a risk? A better life working for an honorable lady. A lot less pain. Attack me, and I'll make you suffer. Give two two thousand five hundred copper. A simple bribe. Walk away and pretend this conversation never happened. Let's finish this then, or. A lot less pain. Attack me and I'll make you suffer. Ha! I, I have I have not survived this long by I have I have not survived this long by covering to idle threats. Do your worst. Well, alright. You asked for it. I want to change the position a little bit. Tanks first. Alright, guess we're gonna go and beat the living shit out of these guys. Shield wardens Pequiller. And they are Adurians as well. Well, doesn't matter. We're gonna kick them any, kick them, kick, uh, beat the living shit out of them anyway. And you, we, we go and uh, and we go and uh, deal with the captain. You go and deal with this one. And uh, I guess we could focus on one of these, one of these guys. Send it to Mark there. <laughs> Then buff everyone. Then use this spell again. And you use your special arrow on this one. 
But I, but I, but I was, I was actually hoping that Lord Catpin would, would, would come and face me himself. But apparently he doesn't have enough balls to do that. Of course he doesn't. Uh, uh, I guess we could use this and and re and, re and reveal their vulnerabilities. Oh, that's it. That's what it did, right? Bears enemies combat vulnerabilities for all to see, reducing their damage reduction, deflection, and concentration. Yeah. So, so, so we basically make them weaker. And you. Uh, Knock, knock this one down. Hmm. Might as well use this uh, and debuff them. What did this do again? The Watcher speaks directly to the souls of his or her enemies, filling them with dread of what awaits them in the wheel. Wheel. Don't know what that's supposed to be, but whatever. And this. A call for divine waiver that increases accuracy and damage of all allies in area of effect. Alright, we're gonna do this, of course. And let's do this, Bell, because this hurts a lot. Prolvia doesn't seem to be able to go there. God damn it, she's stuck there. Uh, heal. Yeah. He heal Palagino. And you knock one of them down again. Hmm, these guys are actually rather, rather tough. Use this spell. <laughs> Shit. Uh, heal a lot quickly. And you use this. <laughs> Elod is down. Fuck. How did they get to him anyway? I guess it. I guess it was one of these range dudes behind there. Uh, life leech. And heal Provio. I'm here. This is not going very well, folks. And here, and here I thought that this was going to be an easy fight. Uh, what did this do? What did this do again? Ah, uh, nothing, nothing too useful right now. And this? Mm. Now use this. Ah, oh, god damn it. This is not going very well. Hmm? Didn't you didn't you use that damn spell? Can you heal him please? Oh not him. Durant. They got the priest. Well of course they did, god damn it. And you can't use uh, knockbacks anymore. Got an arrow for this one. Uh, attack something, Prolio, please. This might take some time. Not that, I, not that I think we can win anymore at this point. Yeah. You are not doing much, or are you, Sagani? Kind of wish, kind of wish. Now I had Winky or someone, someone else here, right now. Another one down. If we, if we can get this one down, then we can go to them. Maybe you should shoot this one instead. 
Yes, he's down. Yes, he's about to die. There we go. We can actually fucking win this. Very intense fights here. He's about to die very soon. Well, ca well, Captain Emery, how 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 does it feel to get killed by a dwarf? Not not that there's anything to be not that there's an, anything anything to be embarrassed about to be, to be killed by a very badass dwarf, but still. Ah, she's down. Doesn't matter. All right. Now, now only she is left. My bow's ready. This was a really tough fight. Can't get a good shot with this. I think this should have been a much, much, a much easier, but I think maybe I made some screw ups there. Come on, die already. We are not doing much damage, <laughs> damage here, are we? Damn, I wish we had Winky you now. But yeah, there we go. Chancellor Warren. Well, that was unexpected. Warren emerges from beneath his ta table and smooths the rumpled sleeves of his robe. It it does make this it does make the strange reports I have received from the crash make more sense in context. However, go on. Earl Bademore decided to keep an eye on Lord Catpin's activities. Catpin has been hiring a lot of men recently, but for what purpose we can't say. I would advise you take extra precautions at Kainua. He may be attempting to place spies or saboteurs within your walls. Alright, I keep that in mind. Be wary, Prolvia. I don't think you have seen Lord Catpin's endgame yet. He swallows the rest of his ale and gives you a curt nod before heading for the door. Alright, I keep that in mind. And everyone, everything's back to normal. Now, please, tell me that I got some fat, great, epic, fat loot from this. Well, I got some money, right. that's something. They didn't get anything too interesting, I'm afraid, though. Not really, no. Hmm, shame. Oh, wait, what's, what's this? Uh, plus 40 deflection until hit or critically hit. Hmm, I should use this, I think. And this... Plus 3 movement speed for 30 seconds. Well, let's take it all. Let's take all of it. What the hell, the hell was this? Plascon. Remove Plascon crash. Uh, plus 25 defense against ground attacks. Minus 2 dexterity for 600 seconds. Alright, well, I'm gonna take this anyway. Actually, let's take all the food here and stuff. And what was this? Scroll of Paralysis. Paralyzed for 6.6 .6 seconds, so we can paralyze some someone or something. All right, it requires eight lore though, but I'm sure that you should be able to use it. You have enough lore, right? Yeah, of course you do. You're a wizard, god damn it. There we go. I think we, but we need to rest though. Where is the bartender? There, innkeeper. Back in your partner. Oh, it's you. Oh, who? You know me. It's good to see you well. We had a few rough days here, but then we found this place. And, and and they were kind enough to hire us both. Things have been wonderful. I can't tell you how much we appreciate what you have done. Who the hell are you? Because I don't remember you. Oh, wait. Ah, no, no, I, I, I think I remember, I, I, I think I rem remember now. Uh, this Ingrid, uh, Ingrid was... Uh, and this other dude here whose name now escapes me but no but but those two were, were the couple from uh, and gilded vale the ingrid's husband was basically killed by the big bad bear in in vale in valewood um, and and betrayed by his friend who left him there to die for uh, to the bear and 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 they and they were about to they were ab about to about about to leave the town town before I came there, but I decided to let them go because I don't really give a fu I don't really give a fuck what they do, and they gave us some money too. So, so yeah, it was good. So yeah, this must be that couple. It's hard work, but good wages. Can't complain. Indeed, you shouldn't. Especially Just say the word. especially after I, especially after after I spared you. 
Now, where is the... Where is the other guy? I I think I can... Nonton, that's the guy, yeah, Nonton. It was Nonton and Ingrid. That, 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 was the, that was the couple from Gilded Vale. And Nonton was the guy who betrayed Ingrid's husband by, le uh, by leaving, him, leaving him to die to the bear. Stabbed him to the ankle or whatever and then left him there. What an asshole, but I don't care. It's hard work, but good wages, can't complain. Well, guess we could well, talk to this guy. The man is dressed in neat but functional clothes. His sun wrinkled skin and limber uh, mus musculature reflect reflect a life spent in the wilderness. Well, well met. What brings you to the charred barrel? Is this your place? Who are you? I don't really care. Mm. Let's see your rooms. Yeah, we could use some rest. Let's see. Two perception, one stealth, uh, two intellect, ten will. Plus ten will. That's pretty damn good. I don't remember. I don't remember what the will, what will did exactly, but we're gonna take that anyway. And we're all freshed up. And come to your pool construction completed. All right. Uh, what do we have here? Nothing interesting here. And why? Why is this still here? It's, it kind of irritates me. Irritates me. That number one there on the uh, right lower corner. Anyway, what? To build next. I think security would be nice. The towers of Kite Nua stand high above the walls of the stronghold. Upgrading the towers will grant a perception bonus when resting at Bright Hollow. This would give us some prestige. It was prestige, right? Yeah, prestige and security. Hmm. I think I'm going I think I'm going to buy a merchant stalls because I could use some merchants. Well met, friend. Show me your wares. Uh, where is it? Show me your menu. Well, that's one, another way to put it, I guess. And we're gonna buy some camping supplies because we have only one. So we're gonna buy all of this. And I guess then we can also sell this crap that we don't need. We're gonna sell all, all of our crap here. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna sing, uh, hold on to this Sabre. And Sabre, still. And then to our statue. Sell all of this away. And I'm still gonna hold on to this. Then all of this away. These helm helmets, helmets would also be very cool, but they don't they don't have any they don't have any stats, not even armor or base armor or anything like that, so I don't see any reason to keep them. Yeah, I think that's but that was pretty much it. But I guess we could buy, buy some food and holy shit, these are these are fucking expensive right here. Dragon egg dish. Thirty plus max entrance plus three resolve for three hundred seconds. It's not even that good, at least stat wise. Stew. Hmm. I guess we could. I guess we could. Ah, fuck it. Let's let's buy everything. Let's buy fucking everything. I mean, we, we, are, we are getting 8 grand from our crap anyway, so might as well, might as well buy everything. Buy all the food. All the food. Cocoa. Uh, what does this give? Constitution. That's not very good. Cheese, max 10 endurance. Yeah, we're gonna buy all that shit. Oh, fuck it, let's buy everything. But all the food. All the food we can buy. Yeah, I think that's, that's good. And now, oh, and minor health generation potion. We'll take that. And now you and and now, and now you can start your own armor and and weapon shop business. There we go. Anything else of interest here? There's a kitchen there. All right. And can I just? Oh, I can just take all this fruit here. All right. The scripts and props belong to a production of the most unfortunate tale of Favia and Bernat. All right. Hmm. We haven't really read any of these past life thingies for a long time, have we? Let's check this one out. As you near, you feel a vibrant history containing the essence of this woman's soul. Voices from its past seem to call out to you. Well, let's check it out. You see a woman clad in expensive finery. Her eyes flash as she interrogates a trembling wreck on the ground. Reaching into his pocket, her hand curls around, and, uh, around an address, and she smiles grimly. 
Moments later, she is in, in a bedrackled alleyway, her pace quickening. Her braids trail around, around, around a corner and she is upon them. Or perhaps they are upon her. The action does not last as she easily dispenses of, dispenses of man after man, searching their faces, clothes, shou shouts for something she fails to find. Frustrated, she moves on, but not quickly enough as an Orland attacks her from behind, the seal upon his finger glittering with mal malice. The woman's eyes alight upon it as she twists to evade his blow, and her eyes burn bright. Perhaps this was not a wasted trip after all. Alright, sounded like a bounty hunter of some sort. And Victor. What do we have here? Alright, you see a large group of people gathered in the common area of a large inn. This man is standing in the midst of the people, engaged in conversation with someone. He's smiling and talking gregariously, I have no idea what that means, moving from person to person with ease. He's able to extract himself from one conversation and insert himself into another without a break in his stride. He kisses the hand of a well-dressed woman, dipping her, dipping her, then twirling her back into the arms of, of her escort. He moves on to another group, slapping someone on the back while laughing at a joke, and then he's off again, sliding between people, hugging someone, shaking hands, he never stops. Finally, he seems to have hit his hit his limit, and he excuses himself from the gathering, much to the dismay of every, much to the dismay of everyone else. So he seems to be some sort of a host. He smiles and waves as he leaves, making a little bow with a flor with a flourish of the hand as he closes the door. Once he is away from the inn and around a corner, he pulls several objects from a concealed pocket in his jacket. He looks at each one in turn, a necklace, a brooch, a couple of coin pouches and a small jewel. Smiling, he, he pours the money into his palm and quickly counts it, still aimlessly wandering the street. He passes a beggar who holds out a bowl to him, pleading for a pit pittance. The man stops, smiles at the beggar and drops all the coins into, the, into his bowl. Then he walks off, whistling happily. Oh, oh, that's kind of nice. So, he, so, he, was, so, he, so he, he was basically a Robin Hood. Steal from the rich and give it to the poor. That's nice. Okie dokie, and now... Uh, let's see. Uh, did we get any new quests or whatever after we did that, did that little encounter? This is the... Stolen scroll thingy, another bounty. What? Where was this again? Nalred the Wise, an orc shaman, has been terrorized in the countryside around Elmshore. Ah, oh, that. Ah, uh, oh, that's not. That's a lot. We haven't even been in, in El Elmshore, right? Elmshore yet. So yet, let's not worry about that now. We come back. We go. We go. We come back to back to this later. Uh, Eder's uh, quest. Durance's quest. Me Wait. Find the ruins beneath. Ah, oh, the guide knew one thingy. All right. Ah, uh, uh, this was the mm, Kana's quest, yeah. The master below. Explore the endless paths, that's a guy newer thing. Travel to the cliffs you saw in the vision. Yeah, this is uh, Sagani's quest. The side of the five suns. Uh, uh, Palagina's quest. And, ret and a return to court. Return to Kainua. The false meeting with Chancellor Warren and the attack by Captain Emery were both distraction to keep keep me away from Kainua for a time. I need to return there to find out what's been going on in my absence. Oh, alright, so... Okie dokie, so I I guess we are going to back to Kite Nua after all. I was actually hoping that hoping that hoping that we were that we were going to to the ruins of the temple of Void Dika uh, right after this, but apparently not. Mm, looks a little healthier than before. Alright, what the hell is going on here? Speak to the mob in front of your great hall at Kite Nua. A mob of common folk have gathered in front of the great hall of Kite Nua. They seem incredibly angry about something. Lord Gatpin's doing, no doubt. Alright, but before we go anywhere, taxes collected, lost 109, bandits earned 561, alright, nice. But anyway, before we go anywhere, I think we should... Hmm, can I... yep, give, give, me, give me some of that, that pie. Uh, what did this give again? Entrance, might, perception. Yeah, I think... Hmm, yeah, let's switch this away. And I guess you could use some pie as well. And for you, endurance, constitution, perception, not too not too useful for you, I think. Cecita casserole, mm, not too in, not too in useful for you either, I bet I think. But this could be very good for Durance. And this endurance constitution. 
we give this to you. And this damage reduction. What did this do? Endurance. I think I should drink that next time. And this. I'm just gonna give this to you as well. And this. Endurance. Might. What was the difference between these two again? Damage reduction. 150 seconds. Mm, this gives one less damage reduction, but lasts longer. I think I'm gonna just switch this like this. Alright. Now everyone eat and drink before we go there. So, just say the word. Hey. Eat and drink. I'm ready. Have a feast. And yes. You. No, cut them it. Just eat it. There we go. Mm. Ready, watcher. Hmm? Didn't I give you anything? I guess not. Well, whatever. Just eat and drink something. It's all. It's all good. Oh, what? What does this cocoa do again? Constitution. Ah, oh, whatever. Just eat some cocoa. Eat some cocoa. All right. Just say the word. Now, before we go, I'm gonna save this game real fast. Okie dokie. Can now, do. Let's see what's going on here. What are these peasants yelling about? And what's this? Mm, nothing new, really. All right. Now, what are these peasants ye yelling here? Yelling here. What do we have here? Farmer. I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay. So they set my crops on fire. When my boy tried to stop them, they knocked him over the head. He's alive, but he can't think straight no more. Your boy got lucky. My guards, both good, both good men, both got put to the sword after they after they had surrendered. I paid those tucks what they wanted, but they still took everything I had. Well, what what dicks? There she is. A woman points at you, and all eyes in the crowd turn their hostile gaze upon you. What's going on here? We want justice! You have been terrorizing us and we, w and we won't stand for it any longer. Choose your next words carefully. The group eyes you warily. After a few moments, one, m one man in the group elbows another. The second man takes a deep breath and straightens his stance before speaking. You sent your men to my farm to collect a crop tax, saying we, w saying we was overdue. For me, it was a road toll. I have been traveling up and down this way for years, and this was the first time I have heard of such a thing. Other people in the crowd chime in with similar stories. And what makes you think I said this, man? Those weren't my men. If this happens again, it's not on my orders. You heard it directly from me. Hmm. And what makes you think I sent those men? They said they were acting on, on, on orders from the Lady of Kainua. That's you. Those weren't my men. Then who are, then who were they? They weren't no common bandits. If this happens again, it's not on my orders. You heard it directly from me. Say we believe you. What about what we have lost? What about my crops? And my goods? And the families of my guards? Mm, thousand and copper? Share this amongst yourselves. Here for all of you. Take this. Leave before I hang the lot of you from Kaid Nua's walls. I'll take these men. I'll I'll make these men face justice. You can count on it. I don't care about your idiot son or your trade goods. Get o get out of my keep. Hmm. At I I am supposed to be very cruel and aggressive and all and all that and all that stuff. But at the same time, I kind of want to help these people. Hmm. But then, uh, but then again, their problems are not really my problems. I mean, are they even me? Are, are they even my subjects? Well, I am taxing them appa apparently, so I guess they kind of are. But uh, hmm. I'll make these men face justice. You can count on it. Yeah, let's just say that. We appreciate that, but can you offer us any compensation? Just a little to help help us get by, of course. He clears his throat and looks at you expectantly. Hmm. Share this amongst yourself. Should I just give them money? You know, uh, this is 
how should I how should I say this? Because I don't really know that what these people are to me. Are they are they my subjects? Are they my servants? Are they just farmers and peasants work, work working for me? Or or are they just normal farmer farmers who, who farmers who who just happen to have their farms and stuff near my lands or something like that? I mean, who are these fucking people? Because if they are my subjects, then ah uh, yes, I would pay. I mean, one thousand copper is nothing. It's nothing to me. But at the same time. Shouldn't I just kind of say? Shouldn't, shouldn't I just mm, tell them to basically to fuck off because I'm a bleak walker? Yeah, let, let, let's just go with the fourth option because I'm supposed to be aggressive and such. Leave before I hang the lot of you from Kai Nuas's walls. The crowd mutters, but avoids meeting your eyes as they disperse. I kind of feel bad for them, but yeah, Marshal of Warwind. Ah, angry mobs. The, inev the inevitable thorn in every ruler's side. Eh, Brolvio. Marshal Forwin. Am I supposed to know this guy? What brings you to Kaidnoa? They are good people. Can't blame them for reacting that way. Well, and yet, and yet I still sent them away, so saying this would kind of, well, contradict my character. I was merciful. This time. I have no... I have no doubt that before long, this peasant shall fear the name Prolvia. For now, the peasants will have to wait. I have news about Lord Catpin. Let's discuss in the Great Hall, away from curious ears. Alright. Okie dokie, let's talk about Lord Catpin, because I really want to fucking go and murder him. But Marsh Marshal of Forwin, am, am I supposed to know him? Oh wait, is he the Warden? Is Was he our Warden? I kind of... I kind of forgot. Well, whatever the case. Let's go to my throne and have an audience. Lady Provia. Got some experience, nice. I have received word that Lord Catpin is amassing an army of mercenaries near Jennywood Field. It appears a peaceful it appears a peaceful claim to Kainua is no longer possible. Obviously not. Not as long as I live. The Earl has sent me to aid you in, in informing your own informing your own force to counter this threat. I'm here in an I'm here in an adversary role only, of course. The Earl won't officially take sides in this dispute. All right, interesting. Nothing like this ever happened in my first playthrough of the game. Let's talk about my army. Why won't the Earl officially uh, legitimate legitimize my claim? It is a delicate situation. Legally, Lord Catpin's claim is just, and he knows it. Stripping land and title from a noble family is quite dangerous, perhaps more so than killing the man outright. With Catpin dead, the Earl only need worry about blood vengeance from family members that actually cared for Lord Catpin. Those, if court if court gossip is to be is to be believed, are few and far between. Yeah, I wonder why. Losing a family claim to land and title, though, such disputes incite hatred from the entire clan and their political allies. Not to mention the unease it causes amongst the other nobles. Wars are wars are sorted for less. No, if Cat if Catpin is to be denied, it will be you who must prove your le legitimacy to the Earl and all others who would dispute your claims. That is what it means to be a no be noble in the Deerwood. If there's anything else you wish to know, please ask. How much time do I have? Enough. It's rumored Lord Catspin will suffer a series of unfortunate and completely unforeseeable setbacks before his army is complete. He grins and winks. Still, I would not tarry long. I have a fortress with strong walls. Why not let Catspin's army come to me? Lord Catspin isn't fool enough to risk tearing down Kaid Nua just to kill you. And if you shield yourself behind these walls, he'll have free reign to torment your subjects in the countryside. Alright, so they were my subjects. Okay. I'm still I'm 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 still I'm still gonna be I'm still gonna be a cruel ruler though. Earl Padamore will see your inaction against Lord, Earl Padamore will see your inaction against Lord Catpin as a sign that you are unwilling to perform your duties as Lord of Kainua. Losing his, losing his support will have dire consequences. Taking the fight to Lord Catpin is your only option. All right, I don't mind that at all. Although although 
it I think it, I think it I think it would have been much cooler if you just came 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 and attacked and came and attacked the keep and siege the keep itself itself Th that would have been so much cooler I think but whatever I get I guess we are I guess we are going going there I guess we are going to Lord Catherine directly mm. let's talk about my army the marshal nods why am I getting my troops I have sent out I have sent out a call for volunteers from the lands around Kaidnua. Hopefully people will realize that being under your rule is preferable to that of Lord Catpins. Any hireling stationed at Kaidnua will also accompany you to the battle, so I suggest you ac acquire as many of them as possible. I received I received a missive from the Knights of the Crucible. They have heard about the situation and will send a squad of their finest knights when the time for battle comes. Oh nice, the Crucible Knights, fuck yes. I'm glad. I'm so glad that I sided with them. I highly doubt. I highly doubt, doubt that the dozens would have been any any help. Well, w w well, all what all, all what I mean is that they most likely would have sent help, but I would rather have the elite knights later than some angry peasants and mercenaries. What's the status of my regular two troops? The marshal shakes his head. Too green and too few. If you go up against Lord Catpin now, losses, losses will be heavy. However, victory is still possible. We need to recruit veteran troops. I know a company or two of veterans that would be willing to join us for a bit of coin. I would say 10,000 coppers should cover the expenses. 10,000 fucking coppers, are you fucking kidding me? Well, I got... How much do I... How, how much did I have I got again? I forgot. 20 grand? So I would lose about half of... I would lose about half of my money. Let me think about it. What special allies do I have available? The Knights of the Crucible will reinforce your infantry. Alright, so that's very much everything for now. That's all for now. Very well. Mm. I think I'm going to save this. Mm. Lord Catmin hasn't given up on taking Kaidnua from me, as expected. He's tried to have me killed, st stirred up trouble in the land around Kaidnua, and now he's raising an, an army against me. All right, but I I would like to know that how much time do I have, or or or, or do I have any time limits at all? Hmm. I I don't see any. I don't see anything though. Hmm. Okay, okay. Do I have any other que any other quests? Uh, Lord Catpin is assembling an army of mercenaries in, a, in, a, in an attempt to wrest control of Kaidnua from my from me by force. I'll need to raise my arm, my own army, to stop him. To fight Lord Catpin's forces, I'll need an army of my own. Marshal Forwin will assist me in the logistics of it all, coordinating things at the Great Hall in Kaidnua. He'll wait. He'll wait there until I command my army to march to Yenwood Field. My allies in the Knights of the Crucible will send some of their veteran knights to aid my infantry, assuming I remain in their good favor until the battle. Oh, I'm I'm sure I'm sure we will. Hmm. The Battle of Yenwood Field. Oh yeah, it it, it was this that I just read. All right. Okie dokie. Uh, how much money did I have? Twenty six grand. So I would have sixteen thousand left if I if I paid for them. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I just want to buy a mercenary band. Any hirelings I station at Kaidnua will also accompany me to the battle. So basically, all of my uh, follow, or, at, or or I assume that by oh wait no. At first I thought that thought, thought at first I thought that by hirelings uh, he made my companions, uh, but no, I think that hirelings are diff are different people that I can hi hire to this keep if I have the barracks. Speaking about the barracks. Speaking about the barracks. What was the... This is finished in one hour, alright. After merchant stalls, I think I should go and... Where is the barracks? I think I should build the barracks. 
it lasts two days, and then uh, and then I can employ hirelings to defend my stronghold during attacks, and, and then I can use them in the upcoming battle as well. So how much time do, time do I have? Hmm. All right. So he doesn't he doesn't exactly say that how much time do I have. So 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 I assume I don't have any time limit limit at all. I can I can spend as much time as I want as I as I want before I go to battle. That's my assumption. Anything you anything new for, from you? So you have no, so you don't have any comments to this entire situation here. All right. So. Hmm. All right. Well, what, what, what I think I'm gonna do now is that I'm I'm gonna continue the main story of this game for now. And and so and and so we'll be going back to Defiance Bay and from there to the Temple of Votica. So so we so so we're gonna continue the main storyline and there for uh for a little while. See what see what ha see what happens then. Hmm? What did you say? Better indeed. Ah, so nothing in too interesting. All right. So let's go back to Defiance Bay, then the Temple of Vodica. Do what we have to do there, and and we'll and uh, and uh, and, may and maybe then maybe then I'm I'm going to uh, deci decide what to do with the. Uh, maybe, maybe then I decide to recruit more uh, the Pico army and such. Plus, I want to, hmm, you know, uh, I think I'm gonna farewell. I think I'm gonna take Winky for a while. These are all level 6, he's level 5, he's 6. Wink is level 4, so I want to level her up for a little bit. And for now, let's go to first fires, because that's where the temple is supposed to be. Actually, before we do that, which which is the closest? 18 hours, 22 hours, 22 hours, 18 hours, 1 day. Let's go to Black Meadow here fast first. No, why? No, why to Black Meadow? Meadow, you may you may ask. Well, si well, well, simply because because the barracks um what because the barracks are sh uh, because the barracks are ready by the time we get here. See, oh, not barracks, merchant stores. We are we are about resolve attack. Five days remaining. What? The bleak horror bandits from the northern wilds have been reported crossing the plains east of Kainua. They will be at your doorstep any any day now. Mm, and what here? Anything here? No. Auto resolve or manual resolve? Let's go with manual resolve. You must travel to Kainua to participate in the defense. All right. So anyway, like I was saying, uh, I want. I I basically wanted I basically wanted to save time by by coming to Black Meadow because uh, uh, because because this was the close closest close, closest place and thus coming here coming here took took the least time. So now, so now the merchant stall is ready, and now I want to build the barracks. Where was it again? The barracks. Uh, here. We purchased the barracks. There we go. And I guess we have to go back to Cade Noir again. To deal with those, whatever bandits they were. These ones, I highly doubt, are working for Lord Catpin. These are just normal regular bandits. Mm, looks a little healthier than before. All right, manual resolve. Let's see what happens. I don't remember doing anything like this in the first in my first playthrough. At least I don't have any memories of. So let's see how this. Happens. Oh wait. Ah no. Yes, I remember. I think I think I did this once or twice. Oh, are those Lord Catpinsmen? They are green. Well, I don't know. Let's see. What do we have here? A bandit. Bandit, but it doesn't tell me what kind of bandits. They're just bandits. Knock this one down. Use your holy flames on that one. I guess we should. Mm, I guess I, I should send. Uh, yeah, Palit Palatina, you go there. And you buff everyone. Shame that you can't go to stealth in combat. I guess I should focus on this one. While, while, he's, been while he's been occupied by Eder. And you, and he's obviously a wizard or priest or something along those lines. So I want to take 
take him down as fast as I can. Use... Hmm. Yeah, deep off them. Well, that's not good. I, I don't want them to focus on the runs. Hmm, maybe I should use this fireball spell here now. Holy shit, there's lots of... Those are mirror images, I take it. And you... Actually, no, just focus on him. Shit. Where is Winky? You are there. Mm. He's about to die. I guess we could just attack uh, this one. <laughs> And heal to runs. The fight is out. Oh, they they are dead already. Well, most of them anyway. He's still he's still alive, but not not for long. Hours. Blind him. <laughs> Look at that damage! Holy shit! Winky, I missed you so much. But yeah, they are dead. That was easy. Wait, can I still loot them at least? Oh, come on, game! Don't tell me that I can't loot them. There we go. I Better indeed. Just say the word. And is it just me or I'm I'm still here I'm still hearing some angry peasants. Still hearing some angry peasants yelling. Ah, uh, okay. And Winky got a level. Must be a little glitch or bug or something, nothing to worry about. But just to make sure, let's uh, check this gate quickly. Yeah, yeah okay. It must, it, it must have been a glitch or bug or something. What, whatever the case. Before we go, let's... Let's check your stats and stuff. Stealth is, op is a very good option, obviously, but... I think I'm gonna put some points to athletics, so that she's not that so that she's not that squishy anymore, and to some points to survival as well, so she can get some bonuses after resting as well. And then, oh, now now this game is a, a lot faster when 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 we're going through these abilities and such. Oh yeah, it's it's good now. It was slower before for some reason. Anyway, crippling strike. The rogue attacks his or her enemy's ability to move around effectively, inflicting extra damage to and hoppling any enemy, enemy enemy successfully hit. I could use some abilities abilities for her indeed, because we don't really have much much to use with her in combat. Finishing blow, the rogue look, looks to finish off an injured opponent with, with a precise deadly strike that increases it increases in damage and less the less entrance the target has. I actually like this a lot. Mm, reposed. It's a passive. Expertise in the art of pain leads all slash, pierce, and cr crush damage caused by the rogue to also also do raw damage over time. Repost. The rogue looks for openings to counterattack in combat. Incoming melee attacks that target deflection and def de de tar that target targets deflection and miss or ga gaze have a chance of of allowing an insta full attack. Repost. Only active with melee weapons equipped. With melee weapons equipped, okay, escape. Allows the rogue to break engagement and expertly avoid the next attack. And dividing out of range to a specific location and grinding a temporary defense bonus. This could also be very, very nice. If only I could choose two, that would be nice, very nice. Mm. Well, we are doing very, very, not, very good damage already, so I don't think that finishing blow is that necessary. Although, although this would be very nice to have, but I think I'm going. This is two per rest, and this is once per encounter. So I think I'm gonna go with the escape to give her to give Winky more survivability. All right. Now, now, and now that that's finally been dealt with, 
Yes, yes, I'm gonna go with this. Now let's go to first fires. There we go. What's this? Uh, Solomon de Shackler has sent words from Ixamitl, thanking you for your role in role in ensuring his swift arrival. Well, good for him, I guess. He, uh, he he's a he's a slave slave owner and trader, so so yeah. But what do I care? What do I care what his what his line of business is? Would have been nice if he sent me some goddamn money. Oh. What do we have there? A ghost? A specter? Praise to the exiled queen. May her crown be restored and her justice prevail. Come to pay your respects to the queen that was. A ghost hovers in the middle of the ruin, reciting blessings and prayers. Even as the spirit and spirit's uh, form shifts and swirls, it retains the face of an elderly man and robes that mark wealth and status. It turns to you. Who are you? I was told I would find the temple of Vodika here. What are you doing? I would like to know more about Vodika. Yeah, who are you? Lord Ardwellen Rugform the Third, and pleased to make your acquaintance. I came to the Deerwood on one of the first ships from Adia, and unlike the yokels and hut dwellers around here, I still keep to the old ways. Mm -hmm. It's truly really a pity to see that the locals, what the locals have done to Vodika's house of worship. I was told I would find the temple of Vodika here. And so you did. These savage colonists may have burned it down. But worship of the Oathbinder is alive and well. These stairs lead to the main sanctum. What stairs? These stairs, of course. The sanctum was always below ground, adjacent to the catacombs, so it wasn't destroyed by the fires. Tell me where tell me where I would find an entrance to the to these catacombs. There are various entrances throughout Defiance Bay. But I dare say the easiest to reach is in Copper Lane. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to that part of town in ages, but as I recall, it's somewhere near the southern gate. Okie dokie. So what are you doing? Worshipping Wudika, the exiled queen and oathbinder. I come every day to offer my devotion. I'd love nothing more than to book passage back to Adia, but it is my Emperor's wish that I serve in these barbaric lands. And so I do. Hmm. I, would like to I would like to know more about Wodika. A queen among the gods. She oversees laws and oaths. Everything has a rightful place, and Wodika watches over them all. Of course, not everyone accepts this. Even among the other gods, her authority is questioned. But Wudika is also goddess of memory and vengeance. And she remembers. She'll remember every slight and trespass when she reclaims her throne. You know that you're a ghost, right? I beg your pardon? Is this some sort of joke where you come from? Ah, uh, you know what, forget it. Forget it. I really must return to Adia. Well, goodbye then. As you regain awareness of what's happening around you, you, re you realize that your head is in Palagina's feathered hands. Her golden eyes are peering into your own, as though she is trying to catch a glimpse of activity lurking in the depths. As she sees your eyes respond, she wobbles your head a little and gives you a light slap. Letting go and stepping back, she records you with concern. Everything going all right in there? Oh yes. Praise to the... Yeah, something. Find a way into the temple of Wotika. Hmm? Oh, so there wasn't stairs here. Hmm, some... Uh, something tells me that... Something tells me that... Something tells me that... Tells me that once... That once... That once we have found found another entrance to the temple of Wotika, then uh, we, we, get out, we, we, get, we get out of there through this hole, somehow. I think I think that's how it went in my first playthrough. So, actually, uh, hmm. 
Where was it again? Find a way well, find a way into the Temple of Vodica. The Temple of Vodica is in ruins, above ground at least. A half-buried staircase indicates there is more to the temple below ground. Although the staircase is in inaccessible to me, it's possible that there's another way in. An old spirit ha haunting the temple told me about an alt alternate e entrance through the catacombs. He said he said it should be near the southern gate of, of the Copper Lane district. Copper Lane, alright. So so right here. Well, let's go to Copper Lane real fast. And once and once we have found the entrance to the catacombs, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Alright, so to, so to the southern gate. Here. Catacombs. Oh, I, yeah. That seems that seems to be the place, alright. All right. Um, I think I'm going to end this epi ep episode here, and, and let's put it back to norm normal mode. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this episode here, and and it, and, and and next and next time we are going to en enter the catacombs and 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 then to the temple of Vodica and well see what see see what we find, and possibly and if it doesn't take too long lo long I I guess we can try to find some I don't know find some new find some new allies against 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 the upcoming battle against. Uh, Lord, Lord Catpin and yeah, well, s s something like that. We'll 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 see we'll see how we'll see how 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 long how how long it it will take in the cata in the cata catacombs. So then, thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Pillars of Eternity.